In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding zeros and their multiplicities given a polynomial function written in factored form. And here we're given the function f of x. We're asked to find the zeros and noting that their multiplicity could be either 1, 2, or 3. But I'll start with the fact that to find the zeros, our f of x, which is our y value, would be 0. So I'll rewrite this as 0 equals and the rest of that function written out. So we have three things here being multiplied with the result of 0. And that means that our solutions would come from each one of those three things needing to be 0 in order to multiply and have the result of 0. So either the first one is 0, the second is 0, or that last one is 0. And from here, I can look at the first one, and I see that x minus 6 squared equals 0. If I'm squaring something and the result is 0, that means that what's being squared would have to be 0, which we could solve for by adding the 6 over. And we get a solution of x equals 6. But since that square is there, we know that we're actually going to have x equals 6 as a solution twice. So our solution of 6 has a multiplicity of 2. So I would indicate that accordingly. Moving to the next expression, we have an x minus 7 cubed is equal to 0. And if you cube a number and the result is 0, that again means that what's inside must be 0. We can solve here for x by adding the 7. We have x equals 7. But this solution would occur three times. So our 7 has a multiplicity of 3. And then for the last piece, x plus 5 cubed equals 0. Just as in the previous one, this means that the x plus 5 must be 0. Solving for x, x equals negative 5. But here again, since it was cubed, this multiplicity is 3. So we have two solutions with a multiplicity of 3. Notice we didn't have any solutions that had a multiplicity of 1.